Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Chanel with Chanel Ray Budgets and you guys, it is escape room day. <laughs> so I know that I have been MIA for a little while since vacation Wednesday. Um, it has been a very hectic week um, around here. So let me give you a little rundown of things and an update real quick. Um, you guys, the best way to fig figure out updates for me would be through my YouTube videos, my YouTube posts, and then through Instagram. Um, so as far as shipping goes, I know that I am behind in shipping. Um, I am working really hard to get this stuff out to you guys. My printer died. I told you guys this, um, on, on Wednesday, they were supposed to ship it out and I was supposed to have it the next day. It did not ship out. It took them all the way until Friday to get me my printer. In the meantime, um, I couldn't just run and buy a new printer and I am on the Epson ready to print, ready print um, thing, which is a contract. Basically, it's a lease program that you sign up for. They send you ink and they send you all that, but they have to replace the printer. So I can't just run out and buy a new printer. I had to wait for them to ship me out the new printer. So while I was in standstill waiting for that, I did, we did work to get all of the dots and everything on these orders so that they would be ready to go. Now I am working on just trying to um, get, get the orders the holes poked in them and get them in packages so that I can get them sent out. I'm working as fast as I can, you guys. Um, this part of this is me. I don't, my mom helps me make the binders, but she doesn't help me do holes or ship. So that all falls on me and I'm working really hard. I know some people are like, why don't you have two printers? So I do have a second printer, but the problem with that printer is is that it prints crooked. So like any of my Cricut or anything like that, when I'm trying to print for cutting, it doesn't cut. It doesn't print the cuts correctly. So then I end up with these white lines around the outside. Um, my Cricut did break as well and I got a new one of those as well. So everything is back up and running, but I just need a little bit of patience. Um, for the most part, Y'all have been super, 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 super supportive and super understanding. I really appreciate you um, so much. Thank you so much for understanding. Um, I am, I, like I said, I am working as fast as I can to get these orders out. This was a huge amount of orders because it was when I was running that July sale, the July 4th sale. So these are all those orders coming due now. And so I think it was something like, you guys, 187 orders or something like that that I am trying to get out now. Um, so all that to say, I'm working really hard. I appreciate your guys' patience. If you have a question, just message me and I will, um, talk it out with you. Okay. So the next thing is we need to see who our winners are from the last, sorry, that was a label. Hopefully it didn't show an address, which it did. I'll block it out. <laughs> um, our winners from the last week's video. So, um, the questions were, what were the names of the kids, um, the three kids? What was the first thing that they brought to, why is it not going to the, the, hmm. Um, okay, well, it's just going to be difficult because that's what, you know, my life likes to do. But anyways, it's Budget with Mama Bear. Um, <laughs> she has one before, but there was only 20 comments on this one. So I'm not sure what happened and why, because I know there's a lot of people playing, so I'm not sure why more people didn't, um, sorry guys, uh, put in their answers. Let me get to this video real quick. If I can get it quiet without it playing and I will see she answered. So the first one was the name of the kids and lock, shock and barrel. Those are the three kids. Yes. Um, the first thing that she brought that he brought, they brought to him was the Easter Bunny, that is correct, and then Danny Elfman was the final answer. Um, you can see that she put, yay, my favorite one, you deserve to take a break and focus on your kiddos. So this was posted, this video, <laughs> my cat knocked over the gate, this was filmed last um, week, or the weekend before we left for vacation. So, um, okay, so she, that is the winner, so Budget with Mama Bear, you are one of the winners, and then we will pick another one. Let's see who that's going to be. Like I said, there was only 20 people, so um, it's okay. 
Okay, this one's going to let me see it. Oh, so you can see budget with Mama's Bears right there. So she didn't answer correctly. And then this one was Valley, Valerie Pedigo. But unfortunately, you did not answer the questions. You said love Disneyland. So that's actually not going to work. There were specific questions that needed to be answered. I'm sorry about that. Um, so let's pick another winner. And we have Jane Whitford, Whiteford, sorry, Jane Whiteford. And let's see, you put escape room time. So Jack, hashtag, and lock, shock, and barrel, true. Easter Bunny, yes. And Danny Elfman, yes. Okay, so those two people, Jane Whiteford, Whiteford and um, Budget with Mama Bear, if you guys can get a hold of me on Etsy, I will get you guys your coupon codes. And then we have our next one was Egg. That was our next comments so let's see who we have for the winner of this and we have Aki Musuda Aki Musuda and she put for the egg is Oogie Boogie and that is correct Oogie Boogie he was the one that popped up in the middle of the screen so if that is you I hope I'm not saying your name incorrectly Aki Aki Masuda if you can get a hold of me on Etsy, I will get you your code as well. So those are the three winners, um, Budget with Mama Bear, Jane Whiteford, and um, Aki Masuda. Okay, so here we go. Let's go ahead and get started. I do have my $70 here. We're gonna do two rooms. So the first one, and I did not give you guys any clues last time, so I'm gonna uncover it now. You should have gotten zero for this one. And, oh, you know what? I'm gonna have to peel this off because if you guys watched my last video, you know that I messed up <laughs> and I accidentally um, scratched it. And so it's supposed to be zero, but it's of course gonna be difficult for the pill up process. <laughs> and I'm doing this on screen. I should have thought about this before. I'm sorry guys, bear with me here. And I will hopefully eventually <laughs> These stickers want to stick, don't they? Sometimes they want to stick and sometimes they don't. Anyways, um, yeah, I can't. <sighs> of course, we've got some person outside that is running their motorcycle up and down the road. So, okay, so zero. It was zero. He was the one that was the code. Okay, there we go. So zero. Okay, now let me see if I can get this off of my <laughs> fingers. These books, I'll tell you. Okay, so zero was the first room and that was your code, so Z-E-R-O, okay? And then let's see, room two. Room two was present. It was a present. Um, so, and in this scene right here is when Jack finds the Christmas door and is getting ready to go into Christmas Town. What's this? What's this? There's white stuff everywhere. Yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and, well, I guess that's this song right here. What's this? So let's go ahead and go into this and we will roll and start and I will not scratch that one. So we're going to start with one. And it is $2 and your little hint is a T. A T. So two dollars going in. And then six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So next we have an E. Next, we have an E, and it's five dollars. Okay, five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we have another E, another E, and another five dollars. So actually, I'm going to take this back and put in the ten. So four. So we have. One, two, three, and four. And this one has a V. A V. A V. 
and it's one dollar five so one two three four five and another e another e So another E, and it's another five dollars. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and it's an S. It's an S. And we're gonna put in two dollars, one and two. So I think that. That is one, two, three, four, and five. So we can put in another five, which then we can put in another 10. Okay. Then we have six and we were here. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And this is two and it is an L. Two with an L. So one and two with an L. One, two, three, and four. And this is $3 and there is nothing there. So one, two, and three. And I think that that is another five. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Yep. So we're gonna put in another five. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. And we have an H. We have an H. And five dollars, and we have an H. And then our last one is going to be five dollars and nothing. So let's see. Yeah, we'll put in a five. Okay, so we have ten, twenty, five, thirty, five, right? Um, actually. See, I'm going to do it this way and put in one, two, three, four, and five because that's the way it's supposed to go. Okay, so there we go. Room three. And so we have a T, an E, an E, an S, an E, a V, an H, and an L. A T, an E, an E, an S, an E, a V, an H, and an L. Now, you guys, down below, let me know if you got it right. The last ones, if you guessed the two secrets or if you had to wait for the video. Okay, so now <laughs> look at what I got, guys. Okay, so it's Trivial Pursuit, but it's Nightmare Before Christmas Edition. So I'm going to pull these out and I'm going to pull out the dice. So what I'm going to do for our questions is I'm going to go ahead and roll the dice. And whatever question it is, is what I'm going to ask. Okay, so it's Pumpkin King, so it's pink. So it says, complete the lyric from the scheming song. Kidnap the Sandy Claws, lock him up real tight, throw away the key, and then, <laughs> if you are a true fan, you will know the answer to that. Okay, so again, it's complete this lyric from the scheming song. Kidnap the Sandy Claws, lock him up real tight, throw away the key, and then... <laughs> Okay, so that is your first question, and I'm going to go ahead and roll one more time and ask the second question. So, oh, it says songs again. Is that what that said? Songs? Or Pumpkin King? I think it said songs. I'm going to roll again because I'm going to use the same card. So now we have Halloween Town. So in the opening number of the film, who marches through the Halloween Town gates first? So in the opening number of the film, who marches through the Halloween Town gates first? Okay, so there's two questions. Now let's move on to room four. And we're going to roll. And we start here. So one, two, three. And we've got $5. So $5 going in. And one, so this is $4, and it is an H, an H, 
four dollars and it is an H so one two three and four um, one two three four five dollars and it is a T five dollars and it is a T okay so let's put in a 10 and take back the five. Oops, yep, over there. All right, we've got one, two, three, oops, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. I know how to play games, right? Five dollars, five dollars, two, one and two, yeah, okay. I didn't want to scratch the wrong one again, guys. So it is three, which means that we're going to put in a 10. I'm going to vacuum this up real quick. We're going to put in a 10 and take back seven. One, seven. So five, six, and seven. Okay. All right. Let's see. We've got six. One, two, three, four, five, and six right here. And it is a U. And we've got three again. So one, two, and three. So six. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. It is a T. And that is one dollar. A T and it is one dollar. So... We're gonna take back four and put in a five. Okay. One, two, three, four. So this is an S and it is two dollars. So one and two. Five, one, two, three, four, five. And this is five dollars. Five dollars and this last one right here is two dollars and it is an I. Two dollars and it is an I. Okay, so we should have our thirty-five dollars. So we have ten, twenty, five, thirty, one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, and thirty-five. Okay, you guys. So that finishes our second two rooms and we have a T an S, an H, an E, a T, a U, and an I. Those are your letters, a T, an S, an H, an E, a T, a U, and an I. All right, so let's do our final roll of this. And we're gonna use hashtag zero for these questions, hashtag zero. So let's see, oh, we got blue. So we did, um, let's see. How I'm going to have to try to mark these or something so I remember. Um, blue. When Sally puts deadly nightshade into Dr. Dr. Finkelstein's soup, what shape does the rising steam take on? So Sally puts, um, when she puts the uh, deadly nightshade, what into Dr. Finkelstein's soup, what shape does the rising steam take on? The rising steam. I don't really want to write on these, but I'm going to just do a little dot because we did these three right here. Okay. So your questions one more time. When Sally puts deadly nightshade into Dr. Finkelstein's soup, what shape does the rising steam take on? Okay. Complete this lyric from the scheming song. Kidnap the Sandy Claus, lock him up real tight, throw away the key, and then... You guys finish the song. <laughs> and then in the opening number of the film, who marches through the Halloween Town gates first? So in the film, who marches through the gates first? I wish these would, like, not be blurry. Maybe you guys can pause it. There we go. Okay, so it's the blue, the pink, and the orange. The blue, the pink, and the orange. All right, so there's your guys' questions. Isn't this fun? I thought this was so fun, such a fun idea. I wish they had them for all of the, the escape rooms that we're doing. Okay, so that is all I've got, guys. This was a short little video. Um, I 
just wanted to say that uh, the shop is still closing. I think that I'm going to leave it open through the weekend because I've had a couple people ask me. So it won't close until Monday. Um, Monday the 19th uh, will be when all physical items are coming out of the shop. Um, what I'm going to do is work really hard to get all orders out so that my queue goes back down to zero before I decide what I'm going to do as far as reopening or just adding stuff back in. There are items that will not be going or not be coming back to the shop. And those items will be gone for good. Um, I had somebody ask me if I could make a list of those items. I, I, I cannot. <laughs> there is a lot that I am taking out of the shop and I just really don't, I don't have the time with all of this backup that I have to sit and make a list of all of these. So, or to add them to a leaving, retiring soon part on my store or anything like that. So, um, just know that there are a few things, well, quite a few things that are not going to be coming back, um, to the shop. Um, let's see, is that it? I think that's it. Um, I think I told you guys, but I will be running a sale. So the sale will run through um, next weekend. We'll run through, I think I'm going to do it just Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And it will be a sale on the items in my shop. The only things that will not be on sale will be the new um, binders that were just released. Um, those will not be on sale the, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, well, none of the monthly binders or anything like that will be on sale this time. Um, none of the monthly, none of the escape room binders, those will not go on sale this time. Those ones will stay their, their same price. Um, I will leave those in the shop up until the 19th and then they will be gone. And I am not sure if I'm going to release these again um, this year. So maybe next year at the beginning of the year I might release them again. But I'm not sure if I'm going to release the previously released ones again after this. <sighs> Is that all? I think that's all, guys. I thank you so much, all of you, for your patience, your support of my shop. And um, I will be back for Vacation Wednesday for sure. I'm going to try to do a savings challenge video probably like Tuesday. So maybe I'll see you Tuesday as well. Thank you so much for watching, y'all. I hope you guys are still liking this. It's kind of made me sad that there wasn't as much involvement this time. So even if you don't want to play and you're still watching, just say hi. You know, give me a thumbs up and say hi. If you like my content, give me a subscribe. And we will see you in the next one, guys. Bye.